As you can see, it's very windy along the lake shore, and the waves behind me are very powerful. It's proved to be a very chaotic night as the sun began to set here at Grand Haven State Park. The waves were fast and they were furious. Many swimmers chose to ignore the red flag warning and hop in anyway. Police officers dressed in dive suits battled their way to the end of the pier, kicking people off. After witnesses say a man jumped in at about 7.30 and nearly drowned. He was taken to the hospital. Jumped off, gets slammed by the waves, rolled into the pier, gets all scraped up, just went face down after that. You saw rescue crews pull him out? Uh, yeah, there's some surfers. They pulled the ring, but the surfers dragged him up onto the shore and then brought him back to life. He was, he was out once he got to shore. While we were on the scene, not one, not two, but three other people were saved from those choppy waters. Like Brett, who, as you can see, was exhausted after getting pulled out by surfers. You feel helpless. No one's there to help you. And you just feel like you're going to go all the way in. Something you see off TV. Witnesses kept hitting the emergency box for police. We heard some girls screaming and then help, help. But it was another set of surfers who were already in the water who helped save two others at about the same time before officers could get to them. And we had to go and grab one at a time. I mean, I didn't want to split up because four of us out there is not even going to do anything. It's like every time the, before the wave would break, it would just suck you out. What's your advice to people who are swimming in waters like this? Don't. If it's wavy, stay on shore. As soon as we get more information, we'll keep you updated on that man's condition. In Grand Haven, Dan Kraut, Fox 17 News.